next up, we have, if I can find it, oh my God, not really. Really? Countess Vertigo's in the house? Yeah. Countess Vertigo <laughs> is in the house. Oh my God. Uh, so all of you know the context here. She lost her hearing, but discovered that she has special powers using her electronic gadgets. <laughs> She told you she lost her hearing. She doesn't know she's still being introduced. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, so she's got these special gadgets, and she found that they give her special powers, including reading your minds, not mine. And not mine. I am totally blocked to you. Got it. Countess Vertigo. Thank you, son. All right, ladies and gentlemen, can you hear me? Can you? I am, I am deaf tonight for all of your delight and I'm a little bit I've had a little bit of cherry uh, cider so I'm enjoying myself this is Countess Vertigo on cherry cider <laughs> all right darlings tonight we are going to have an amazing an amazing mind reading trick I am Countess Vertigo <laughs> And this is my beautiful assistant, the lady fabulous Andrea. Andrea, please come up to the stage and stand beside me, darling. You are the most beautiful assistant. Come sit, stand here, darling. To my left, to my left, to my left, to my left. Thank you, darling. Thank you, darling. All right, I am a person who has hearing loss. Because of my hearing loss, doctors tried to fix my hearing. And what they did is they put a piece of metal in my ear and they caused me to become virulently dizzy, virulently. Is that a word? I, anyway, <laughs> exceptionally dizzy. Well, during this exceptionally dizzy, life that I live, which I live all the time, <laughs> might even be exceptionally dizzy right now. You can't tell, can you? <laughs> I can. <laughs> anyway, I'm not. But I wanted to let you all know that while I'm exceptionally dizzy, I have discovered that I am able to read minds. There is power to being exceptionally dizzy. You don't believe me? Why, actually, look what Dorothy did with the swirls and swirls and swirls of going up into the, into the hurricane. She got to the land of Oz. And look at the whirling dervishes. They swirl and they swirl and they reach God that way. Swirling and twirling leads you to the heavens. And you can ask any question you want. You only have to lift the veil away. That's all. It's true. Vertigo gives you that kind, of, that kind of power. Tonight, I am going to read someone's mind. Now, when I am dizzy, flashing lights, twirling fans, all kinds of things, all kinds of things make me dizzy, such as what my darling assistant is doing right now. You can look at her. I cannot. <laughs> Stop it, darling assistant. I can't do that. <laughs> Thank you. Those kinds of things will knock me off my feet. It won't knock you off your feet, but I'm going to do something tonight that will. My darling Andrea, will you go out into the audience and get a victim? I mean, a, I mean, a volunteer, darling. Now, now, let her pick. Let her pick. It must be somebody I don't know. No, I don't know him. Bring him up. Come on, come on. We've just been told we've had the the eight minutes have gone by already. Bring him up. All right. I am, wait, come up here, please. Please come up here. Never, never mind. He, he needs to come up here. Andrea, bring him up. Andrea, bring him up here. All right, sir. Please stand to my left, both of you. All right, sir. Please come in front of here. What's your name? Tyler. This is Tyler. What is his name? I'm deaf, you know. 
Tyler? Tyler! Please come here. I can't read your lips with you over there. Tyler? Say, Kyler, Tyler. Filer, 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 okay. Andrea, <laughs> please let go of Filer. <laughs> Andrea, boundaries, Andrea, boundaries. Remember the boundaries, please. Oh my God, this is a child. <laughs> Excuse my assistant, everyone. <laughs> This Andrea is a, there are children. There are children here tonight, Andrea. All right. Jack should come up too. <laughs> Byler, darling. Byler, Andrea's gonna take you off and we are going to read your mind. Get off of El Byler. <laughs> Remember the boundaries. Please go. We don't have much time. We're short on time. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to a new trance and I'm going to read Byler's mind while Andrea seduces him in the back room. gentlemen here we go they are now a bonded pair <laughs> that has been the magic of the evening now I do not know much about Byler for I am not able to read his vibrations very well however <laughs> I feel Byler come over here without without Andrea <laughs> Let go of Byler, please. Eugene? Yes. Oh, Byler, first of all, I need to say, I can't hear you, so you need to say yes for everyone. This is yes in sign language. This is no in sign language. Yes? yes. No. I will ask you yes. Are you from Eugene? Yes. Yes? He's from Eugene. Byler, are you in love with Andrea? Yes. Yes. Are you? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, Byler, yes. I feel something four-legged in your life. Yes. <laughs> four-legged, something four-legged in Harry. Something four-legged in Harry. Me, 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 me. Is it Andrea? <laughs> <laughs> I need to get another assistant. Okay. <laughs> All right, we need to go because our time is up. You have a greyhound. Yes. That you love more than anything in life. <laughs> more than Andrea. Is that true? Yes. Yes! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yes, I have read another man's mind. Thank you! Ladies and gentlemen, you've got us vertigo. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank <laughs> you.